today. Good, because we're back, and we're back with a banger. Okay, so guys, guess what? We're going to make us a delicious pork shoulder. Right? We're going to roast us a delicious pork shoulder, you guys. And yeah, the girl is going to do this and get it out the way. Now, this pork shoulder only cost me $13. $13 over at Kroger's, you guys. Over at Kroger's. And your girl had to get it, okay? And she's going to make her some pork shoulder. Well, you know, pork pork. Because that's what we're going to cook. Pork pork. And, yeah, we're going to make us a delicious sandwich, okay? Several sandwiches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this off right quick, you guys. So, yeah. Give me a moment. Okay, so guys, we are back. So I have gave it a good rinse. And I also use a little lemon to rinse my pork shoulder. Don't ask me why. So, now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get ready. And I'm going to spray mine. Because I don't have any olive oil. And usually I have it. But I don't have any today. So what we're going to do is use a little olive oil. Or not olive oil, I'm sorry. We're going to use a little ham. Okay. Spray this side as well. Okay, so done. Okay, so I'm gonna do the bottom first. Now I have some seasoning right here. We have a little of uh, slap your mama. We got a little meat tenderizer. We got a little of everything up in here, okay? Now, at this point, you could use garlic, but I'm not going to put me some garlic in here. Not at all. I'm just going to throw it, just season it, nicely cold and season it. Just gonna rub it in there. You know, hollow your meat any way you like. But this is how I'm hollowing mine. I'm just making sure seasoning is all on all of the corners, but I'm I'm gonna get ready for this. So I don't know why I'm using this little bitty knife. But I don't want to go too far. And that's okay. Because it's getting the job done. But anyhow, how is everyone doing? Now, I don't want to take off some of this fat. This fat at all. Why? Because this fat is going to bring me a lot of flavor. To here. Because it, to me, it's not fatty. But it's definitely going to bring a lot of flavor. Yep, I think that's enough. Okay, so let's put this back. And we're going to put the last of our seasoning on here. Now, 
reason why I scored that is because now I have some liquid smoke, you guys. Liquid smoke. Okay. And I'm going to pour me some on here. So once I get it, it's getting into the cracks. And we're going to roll up this juice in it. Uh-huh. Oh, I love the smell of that liquid smoke. I do. I love the smell of it. And I'm just going to plunge me a hole or two because we're going to get it down in there. Just like that. Just like that. See, when you don't have the proper things, you can just go on here and do what you do, right? Okay. So we have this together. I don't think we need to put nothing right there. Now, let me reach over here. Oops, excuse the noise, y'all. And we're gonna get that right in here. Because now we wanna get everything uh, in this pan onto here. Right? And we're gonna cover this. Now, at this point, I would add onions in here, but I don't want them to be too. Shall I say crispy? So I'm gonna let it cook for some time because it shouldn't take no more than six to eight hours to cook this. And, <clears throat> cause it all depends on the size of your pork shoulder. And my size, let me check the bag. My size. is a seven pound, just about eight pounds. So for each pound, I'm gonna get it, uh, probably like a half an hour, so I'm gonna say four to six hours. I'm gonna let this cook. And then midways, I'm gonna add my onions in there. So yeah, to give it extra flavor. So I'm gonna cover this and I'll see you in a minute. You guys, check out that delicious mess right there, you guys. Check it out, you guys, this pork shoulder looks absolutely delicious. You got the crispiness going on, Ugh, all that flavor, look at this. Now, you guys, as you guys can tell, there goes the bone right there. And your girl is just going to go in here, see can she pull it, because it's, it's definitely hot. But you can tell this is so good and juicy. It pulls right off. Now you just go on in there and you just break these humps. Because at this point, you can use your hands and you can shred it. Oh my goodness. This is going to be so delicious. I'm carrying this over to a family meeting. You guys. I'm trying not to burn myself, okay? Or get it all over the camera because I definitely got you guys close up. Oh, my goodness. And I'm just going to let it fall into this bed of juice. Now, you guys, I didn't tell you guys, but I had my temperature on 325. That was my oven range. And I just let it cook. I just... Let it cook. Look at there. Just, just let it cook. As you guys see, I am working with the hot. Let's see if we can pull this bone. Y'all see it? Yes. 
pull the bone right on out. Whew. They're all hot. And your girl is trying not to burn myself. Oh, my lover. Let's get it on out. There we go. Now this little meat on here is not going to hurt anything. This is basically, like I said, this is done, done. I didn't put the onions around it because I forgot that I was taking it out. Look at all that fat in it. Now that fat right there, that's what I love. You guys, and like I said, you can just shred it. I know I'm making it look tough, but it's not. <laughs> it's just that I'm dealing with it hot. You guys, I'm dealing with it hot. And you don't want to burn yourself. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys how good and tender this is. And I am going to break it up. Once it cooled down a lot, but I just wanted to show you guys, this is very easy to make. And your girl is getting ready to close this video out because I have to shred it. Unless you just want to stay with me. <laughs> now, if you just want to stay with me, let's see. Yeah, we can do it that way, right? Because I know it's hot. Because you see the smoke. Yeah, that's hot, hot. Okay. But this is going to make a delicious pulled pork sandwich. Because guess what I got? I'm going to make it barbecue, you guys. Yes, we got us some famous Dave sauce. Yes, guys, we got to put this with this. And we got to have us a nice barbecue sandwich. So you guys, let me go ahead and finish this and break it on up. We got to let it cool. So there you have it, you guys. <clears throat> there you have it, you guys. I have broken it all up. And this, like I say, you guys, makes a good delicious barbecue sandwich you can add coleslaw to your sandwich you can use white bread you can use onion rolls which that's what we're using today is onion rolls you definitely will see the picture in the thumbnail but this completes how you make a pulled pork shoulder well how you bake it and yeah you guys, this is going to be something different. And I like the little crispy pieces. Oh my goodness. That's, let me see. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So much flavor. So I am finished with the process of what I'm doing. Because like I said, this has to travel out, you guys. I will show you a thumbnail, I mean a picture, as my thumbnail, if you got this far, you know, you have already saw the picture, and it's just that simple to make pull apart, and flavor it up with whatever sauce you like, which I'm going with Famous Dave, Rich and Sassy, so, yeah. That's what we do over here is a little southern cooking, old school cooking, stuff that I grew up on. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, you cannot go wrong with the recipes, family tradition recipes, whatever you want to call it. But this right here is going to feed an army. 
So I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with any and everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on this channel. And yes, try the recipe yourself. And go back and tell them Miss T taught you. City much love from my house to yours. Bye-bye.